G'day guys, it's Friday night. I thought I'd come in the shed, spend a few hours, try and make some some sense of the mess that's in here. Need a shave, it's been a long week. Ooh. Anyway, I'll flip you around, show you some of the stuff I'm gonna strip down tonight. It's not much, uh, but I thought, you know, Friday night, why not? Catch you in a minute. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> I actually made a bar in, here, in the shed a while ago. Uh, but it's, <laughs> I was the only one that ever came. Um, so it's a bit of a dumping ground at the moment. It's just, this is all getting tore down. I'm, I'm on holiday in a few weeks and this is all getting torn down and I'm going to rearrange all the shed. Uh, this, this bench, this is what I'm going to be dealing with tonight. More on that in a minute. Well, this was me, me bench I've been working off, but I've got so much space in here. I need to just utilize it better plus my youngest wants to bring his car in here and it's it's a nice car so if it hails and he doesn't want to get it wrecked now this is another story yes well there's a junk plastic oh this is a nice little that's, i'm not so sure whether i'm going to the uh scrap oops, scrap yard with this yet oh it's copper pipe uh prices are down a bit at the moment and um Everyone keeps saying copper's going to be the metal of the future. That's going to make money. So, you know, I might just hang on to it for a for a while longer and add to. Um, yeah, this. There's about 120 of these. Um, <laughs> these are all brand new in the box. It, it is old tone. Well, it's off older style uh, printers. This is all brand new. This is all going down to an auction house in the week I'm off. Uh, so it's a long story from when I used to do a lot of reselling and they're just the tail end of it. <clears throat> but what I want to do is when this is gone, I want to move this bar thing over. I'm sorry if you're getting dizzy. Over there. Shift these cupboards, these filing cabinets, get fire them off. And basically move over there so that this this area here will be uh, for my lad's car. I just hope I don't drop anything on it when I'm scrapping stuff off. A lot of plastic rubbish to go to the tip at some point. Anyway, um, where was we? Sorry if I'm spinning you around. So, what are we doing tonight? Well, earlier on in the week where i work they've been having some uh, new monitors and pc equipment and they would want to throw away the old monitor stands but to be honest old i don't think they've even these haven't even been used so they threw them in the skip and i was about five seconds behind them fishing them back out um i thought in a shorts video i did the other day i thought i had not just I thought there were three of that style. Um, this, this steel pipe screwed in there and the monitor went on there somehow. Anyway, so I thought there was three of them, but there was two. This one's just steel, which is unfortunate. I think it's steel. Let's get the magnet. Yeah, bugger. Right, anyway. Um, <laughs> But well, these weigh about a kilo and a half each, so I'll just put them on my, you know, world-class scales. Oops, Jesus. God, get on. Let's see. Yeah, just under one and a half kilo, which is just over three pounds in old money. Come on, guys. Get with the metric system. <laughs> um, so... I'll set the camera up and just, you know, just spend a bit of time with you stripping these down. Like I say, I did these. It's a lot of plastic. This plastic can just go back into the skip at work, um, and that will go to a recycling centre. But I was just a bit concerned that you know, if I throw it all in, and does it actually get recycled? Um, I don't know. So I thought, well, anyway, I'm not taking a chance. So I'm just going to unscrew all these metal plates. I did unscrew one last night. Where is it? Here it is. There we go. 
So that's on the base of there. Let's see what that weighs. What's that? Oh, gee whiz. 380 grams. That's whatever that pound is. Right. So there's not a great deal of weight. And subsequently in shred, not a great deal of money. But it puts money in my pocket and I'm hoping you know, it'll keep it out of the landfill. And hopefully the recycling centre will somehow recycle all that. Right, anyway. So I'll... Uh, oh, I've got something else to show you. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so I think we'll start with these things, these bases. Only a few screws and there are some underneath these black rubber pads um, so I'll have to get a chisel on them and just get them against some solid because I'm not going to take my fingers off and just slide them off there you go yeah a couple of screws let's move the camera in a bit so you can see I'll just pop them off there's one underneath this long strip I think there you go there's another one right well I've got the chisel in my hand I may as well crack into the others So, <laughs> this is not, I'll be honest with you, a few years ago, this is not how I envisaged spending my Friday nights, but it keeps me out of the house, it keeps me out of trouble, and puts a bit of money in my pocket. Uh, you know, winner, winner. Chicken dinner, as they say. So, I'll just carry on taking a few more of them off and get back to you in a minute. Yeah, this, this is pretty bad, isn't it? <clears throat> there was about four or five of them still wrapped up in... It's not bubble wrap, is it? It's this weird paste. They've never been used. It's not a mark on them. It, it's pretty sad that we're such a throwaway society, isn't it? But these won't go to waste either because years ago I used to sell a lot on eBay you know uh, I did it full time I did it part time I don't do as much as I used to these days but you know occasionally sell the odd bit of stuff so I use this for packaging be all right wrapping, wrapping a DVD up or something all right try and use as much as I can really in the interest of trying to keep me sanity, <laughs> I had to clear the bench of, of sorts. So we're just dealing with these at the moment. I threw everything else on the floor, that little pile there. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll throw all the plastic over there and show you the plastic pile at the end, or towards the end. Um, we'll just go through the weights of the steel. Right, let's get these unscrewed. I had to take one of the gloves off. You know, a sense of feel, do you? So anyway, I don't know how long this is going to last. I thought I'd put it on charge last night. But I'll pull all these, pick all these little screws up later. The magnet. It's just a case of undoing them all. Oh dear, I've got glue on them. Just glue. daft as it sounds you could put them model makers on ebay and buy them but not today all right there we go shred plastic 
Alright, so let's crack on. Yeah, we'll have to get a dinky screwdriver. This screwdriver bit's too fat, like me. I am not unscrewing all these by hand. I'll tell you what we'll have to do before my lad moves in here with his car, sweep the floor, otherwise I'll be popping his tire. Yeah, I'll change the drill bit and see what we've got. This is, yeah, it's too, it's way too fat for for the uh, screws. Right, making them all. Oh, right, you knew that was going to happen, didn't you? I haven't got any more bits. I think they're at work. So I'll have to start them with this, finish them with that. Oh, and it's not a race. And like I say, this is not, there we go. It's not a, well, for the sake of, the battery thing, I may as well just do it like this. Do I need a short screw? There we go. Jobs are done. It's not my main source of income, this is just a bit of a side hustle. I think, as well, it's uh, kind of stress relief in a way. Because when you take stuff apart, if you're not having to rebuild it, you don't have to take care, do you? You just smash the hell out of it. And you take it to somebody else who gives you money for smashed up shit. And then you just, uh, you know, rinse and repeat. So, right. So you get the idea. Well, I'll finish these off and get back to you. Okay, that's the bases I was showing you before done. So they're all, they'll pop on the scales in a minute. But two of them had a nice little surprise in. Two cast pieces of alley. There's all the screws and bits of hardware. There's God knows how many on the floor. Right, let's pop these on the scale, see what we got. Okay, let's do the aluminium first. <laughs> so, cast alo, just over 120 grams. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, let's pop these on. Ooh. Right, so what's that weighing in at? 4.25 kilo of shred not gonna break the bank is it <laughs> it's not gonna it's not gonna make me a million but um hey it all adds to the pot all the screws and things and light bits of metal i've just put them there in a bucket underneath the bench save every little bit right what's next okay there's quite a few of these things a gun don't we <laughs> like one of them was already stripped down so i don't know who's had a go at that but uh let's just out of curiosity see what one weighs on its own let's see crap and shit all over the place it needs tidying out what's that 600 grams oh that's not bad 600 grams for that one piece there we need that one three four five six seven eight nine nine of them so yeah these are starting to add up right let's strip these down look at these eh they are like guns aren't they hasta la vista baby <laughs> let's get them stripped down other than two obvious screws there there's not much in the way of getting in these things so i think it's going to be a hammer job Right, call out the hammer time. That's old school. Battery's gone flat. Yeah, well, there's not much. Didn't take much effort. These there's only two on each one anyway. You don't need to see a screw coming out, do you? Anyway, come out. There's one out. There's the other one. Right, now then. Oh yes. <laughs> Seems to be a bit of a seam down here, so we'll just give it a bit of a persuasive tap. And there you go. 
well tapped. Right. Um, yeah, look, I'm, I think I'll smash hell out of all these. I don't think you want to hear a lot of hammering and banging, especially not if you've got ear pods in a headphone. So I'll, I'll just take all this plastic off. It's like I said, there's just two screws, a wallop with an hammer, and it looks like we're going to end up with this. So, oh yeah, he's all right, aren't we? To be honest guys, <clears throat> there's not much hammering and banging. Um, I'm quite mortaring through these. Um, so basically, once I've took these two screws out, it's like cracking an egg. When these screws decide to come out, some of them come out, some of them are slightly captive. Anyway, right, it's them two out, so let me glove on and show you. There we go. Let's give it a bit of a. Right. One, two, and then your wood chisel under there. That's it. It's off. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, guys. So they're all stripped off. All plastic gone. Ooh, a bit out of breath. <laughs> I just had to run inside for getting a cup of tea. Um, so the combined weight of these is 5.4 kilos. So, so far, I've been keeping, whoops, I've been keeping a, a running total. That's what we've got so far. 9.7 kilos of shred. Still a bit to go, but uh, like I said, this isn't going to be a massive money spinner. But it all adds to the pot. Okay, like I said before, this is a cast aluminium. And you've got a chrome, well, it's a chrome plated steel rod. It's collars aluminium, just two slotted screws, like a grub screw type thing holding it on. Uh, yeah, there won't be too much hassle getting them off. So I'll just take them off off camera, just unscrew that off the base. We'll weigh them, Bob's your uncle. Okay, so I've put the two <coughs> cast alley base bases on and these two bits of alley things, collars, call them what you will. Um, that weighs in at 2.9 kilo of cast aluminium. And the two chrome plated steel tubes weighing at just over 1.1 kilos. Right. Phew. Now this was the third stand and I thought this base was aluminium when I first dragged it out of the skip but it was six in the morning and it was very dark. Anyway, this way it's all metal, all steel. Uh, I can't unscrew that, I think it's tack welded in underneath so I'll just send it in as it is, I'm not messing about too much with it. That weighs two and a half kilo, just a midges under. So we'll add that to the list, two and a half kilo. The last thing on the list of these stands arms necks call them what you will i think there's going to be a lot more pl there's a nice bit of steel there but <laughs> i think a lot of this is just going to be plastic so we'll get these tore down and then we'll have the final weighing and it's just a series of screws underneath um if i come across anything interesting which i doubt <laughs> uh i'll give you a shout well i found something slightly interesting <laughs> these stands at the back it's all cast aluminium so all that's cast alley this bit is but it's got steel attached to it now I, I remember years ago i nearly took my fingers off trying to get these springs off one of these things once so I'll, what i'll do i'll un unscrew that from there and then when i'm doing an alley melt in the old devil forge i'll just throw that in and just yeah melt all that off yeah i'm not messing about with that but it's proven that bugger to get off the base. There's always one screw in there. Okay guys, that's those three scrapped down. There's the shred. <laughs> Quite a few screws. And surprisingly, another couple of nice pieces of cast aluminium. Or aluminum, whichever country you're in. Um, let's get the scales. Okay guys, so what do we have there? 1.2 kilos 
of shred. Now I've weighed the alley with this bit of steel. There's only minimal steel on there. So what have we got? 1.4 kilos of alley. So if even if you said and we was extra generous and said that was 100 grams, which is doubt, we'll call it 1.3 kilos of aluminium cast aluminium. Okay guys, so I've got the numbers, ignore the copper radiators or whatever you call them. So there's the aluminium, aluminium and the steel shred. Now, the totals came to 14.5 kilo of steel shred and 4.2 kilo of cast aluminium, aluminium, call it what you will. So, the question is, was it worth it? Well, I reckon it is. I mean, like I said, this is just a hobby for me. Um, I don't know the numbers at the moment for what they're paying for shred and aluminium, but uh, yeah, you know, I'll just add it to my pile and just let it build up and take it in. It's took me what half an hour or so, and that's including the editing not the editing of the video, but you know, flicking the camera on and this, that, and the other. So, whatever I get, I'll be happy with. But also, look at this, I forgot to mention, I'm not scrapping this off, this was in the skip with it. It's um, a wall mount. It's nice, it's all powder coated and everything. It's, it's like new, it's never been used, I don't think. But you obviously you mount a monitor, um, I don't know what do you call it, overhanging thing, tube, <laughs> mount it to the wall. And you can adjust the, uh, the, the, the length, etc. Uh, so, something like this. Did a bit of research and on Amazon uh, US it was quoted in US dollars so it was $90 for that so I'm going to stick it on Facebook marketplace leave it on there for a while if it doesn't sell I don't know I might just might just mount it in here in the shed somewhere and uh, see if I can mount that TV to it okay guys hope you enjoyed the video please comment like subscribe all that jazz I'll see you very soon.